Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Wilson coming to you live from what I call the Creativity Zone. Friend of the art teacher, Mrs. Wilson here, doing my thing, being remote learning time, and I'm teaching on my YouTube channel how to draw some of my puppets. Yes, I teach kindergarten. I teach all the way to eighth grade. And for my youngest group, I bring in my puppets. Right, Charlie? Yeah, that's right. I'm Charlie the Chipmunk. Lots of the kids know me on this school year. I got lots of friends. And this time, I'm going to introduce you to Kia. Ooh, I wonder if the kids at home have met Kia before. Have they met Kia before, Charlie? No, she hasn't come to school yet, but she's a bird. Oh, you know, it's spring, Charlie. So besides seeing chipmunks and squirrels and other little furry friends outside, I bet people know that we tend to see birds outside. Now, the kid is an interesting bird, isn't it, Charlie? Yes, this bird is actually from New Zealand. It's spelled K-E-A. All right. So, Kia, would you like to introduce yourself? This is Kia. Ooh. Kia has a head that moves, and she doesn't talk, but she has a really nice call. Where's that? They have to squeeze her wing. <laughs> now, you know, you probably won't get to see a Kia today unless you are in New Zealand, which is a country far away from us, closer to Australia, actually, at the South Pole of the world. However, you may not realize that there's a lot of fun birds you can try to draw with your own materials that look a lot like a Kia or another bird. And this is just an idea of something you can create today with Mrs. Wilson, watching me and learning how to draw a bird. We're going to look at my Kia puppet for an idea, and I'm just using what I have. That is what artists do, boys and girls. Crayon, pencil, marker, what have you, and any kind of paper you can find. Ask an adult if you're trying to do this and you can't find things and they will help you. Okay, so let's get creative, people. I'm going to bring old Kia over here. Hey, Kia, what's happening? You having a good day today? Oh, actually, Kias like to live where it's cold and it's a little chilly today. They're actually a parrot. They're one of the few parrots that like to live in the mountains where it is cold. And um, truth be told, I did get to see some Kias one time traveling to New Zealand. They like to climb on your car. They're a very smart, curious bird. So I'm going to be looking at how this little bird has a beak, eyes, feet, and wings and things like that. And I'm just going to set up my Kia, my little puppet friend right across from me so that I can look at it and then draw a picture using my imagination and trying my best. So while I've been talking, if you're a friend watching this with Mrs. Wilson, what I want you to do is make sure that at this time, if you would like to do this activity, you try to get yourself positioned that you can be drawing and you find yourself something to draw with and draw on. And again, if you need time to go look for these things, it's okay to go take care of that job. Okay, so back to business. I'm going to go ahead and say that the one thing I always like to draw first, when I look at something, particularly this bird is the eye. So I made a circle for the eye. I actually have a little bit of detail going on there. I just kind of made a little, little circle. And then this Kia has kind of a shape around the eye that looks a little bit like that. And Kias are parrots. So if you know of any other kinds of parrots, boys and girls, you'll know that they are birds that are pretty large. I don't think, unfortunately, we have any parrots in the United States. Not naturally. Not now. Have fun and draw her head. This could also look like a little bit of... You might know what a bald eagle is. You could try to draw a bald eagle. But I just said, like, for fun, I thought I'd do this cool remote learning day teaching my youngsters in K and 1 how to draw some of my puppets. And you know what? It's okay if it's not perfect, isn't it, Kia? Yeah, it's okay. So we're trying my best. And, hey, she's got this cool pattern, but she also has these cool talons. That's what they call the actual toes or feet of a big bird. 
also known as a bird of prey. And their birds come, their bird, their eyes come straight out like humans does. So actually, that is a definite way that you can tell what kind of bird it is. They are called birds of prey. And again, Eagles can also be considered one of those. So can vultures. And Akia is a really cool, neat bird that comes all the way from New Zealand. If you'd like to know a little bit more about New Zealand, there's another puppet I have about from another type of bird that comes from there. Now, basically, to finish her up, I'm making a big line that comes down to the end of my paper. And I'm going to say that that is just a line to define where the side of her wing is coming out like that. And you can see that, of course, this pretend puppet or this pretend bird, sorry, bird, you are a puppet, I know. So she has these wings, right? And um, she has a pattern. But what's fun about this project, boys and girls, is I'm not going to worry about coloring and making the pattern of the Kia because as you may follow along with this drawing, you might want to totally, totally turn into a totally different bird. Your own imagination. And all right, Kia, I think I can draw the rest by letting you sit and watch. Okay, so you've got those wings. So what I just did, boys and girls, I made another leg kind of coming down like that. And now I'm just going to come over with a curvy line and come down and leave some space so that that space can be for my bird's talons. Remember, that is what we call those fun feet. Always we have three little toes. So you can decide how do you want to position your feet. I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one down here. It's okay if they don't look the same. Now I'm going to just connect this line up to this line. And again, this is a quick little drawing with Mrs. Wilson as I'm doing some puppet drawings today. How to draw a bird with Mrs. Wilson. Bird number one. This is Kia. So Kia, let's tell all those kids at home to stay creative. And remember, boys and girls, you can make whatever you want in your own creativity zone. Have fun, guys. See you soon. Bye. Stay creative. Try the Kia. And let's share your art later.